Yo, people! What's good? What is good? How are we all? Hope we are damn. Hope we're damn well. I wasn't sure if I was even going to pick up the damn camera today. I filmed, um, I filmed last Thursday, so the Clem Buterol, the last video you've seen, the Clem Buterol video, uh, was filmed this time last week. So I thought, you know what? I need to pick up the damn camera. I need to vlog something. I need to record something. So, what better way, what better thing to film? Everybody loves. Full day of eating. The last full day of eating we done, obviously I'm on a diet, I'm prepping, uh, but the last full day of eating wasn't really reflective of helping anyone in a diet because it was 3.5 thousand calories, which majority of people cannot eat in a diet. So now, today's our rest day, so we don't have a training session today. I'm about to jump in for some cardio, steps and the sauna. Uh, but calories have been lowered on both training day and non-training day but the rest day food today's targets are 2650 calories so 2.6k you know we're getting into that diet those diet calorie thresholds so 300 grams of carbs today uh, 250 protein and 50 grams of fat now usually on full days of eating i record me making the meals doing all that fancy shit i can't really be arsed with that today i'm just going to show you the meal when i have it what's in it all that shit um usually i'll have five meals a day i like to have five protein servings per day so that all that does is it spikes muscle protein synthesis five times that is the the process in which muscle rebuilds repairs and gets bigger okay mps for short so the more protein servings we get in usually the better but today we're fasting so we've not had anything to eat it's 25 past 10 in the morning we're gonna go in cardio sauna steps as well of course go back home and i'll have the first meal then so first meal will we'll be going down at around 12 half 12 and um, so i'm likely today maybe have four meals but it means it'll be four big meals which will be good so i make my food taste good man there won't be any boring shitty weird looking ass food today maybe weird uh, but i'm gonna make that shit taste good and look good i'm all about taste and presentation so yeah sit back relax mate and enjoy the damn full day of eating slash rest day vlog see if you can see me like pure shaking now like that it's because i'm bursting for a pee so i'm gonna piss when i get in there <laughs> Et ne laisse pas ton odeur imprégner mes draps Et si tu m'abandonnes Je suis pas celle que tu crois Aucun cabron ne m'a touché À part toi caballero Non personne ne m'a touché Tu m'as trouvé Ah, what a lovely scene what a lovely scene. We've got the Christmas tree in the background. It's a damn good day. It's a damn good day. I'm hungry. I am fucking hungry. That's all I've got to say right now. I have not ate at all today. We are breaking the fast at 10 minutes to 1. So 12.50 in the afternoon. We've got a good wee, a good wee meal going down. So we do. So of course I don't care what calories I'm on. Where I'm at, whatever, I'm getting the breakfast bagels in. We've got two bagel thins, uh, which are like 22 carb per bagel. We have got bacon and egg in each bagel with also a potato scone. The best fucking breakfast addition you can have. If you're Scottish, you know the thing, okay? Ain't fried it, just toasted the potato scones, which are just carbohydrates. So I think that's it works out as like 65, 75 carb. And then just to get some additional protein, we've got some 0% fat Greek yogurt with a little bit of whey protein in there and a small drop of raspberries because I had none left. It was like 40 grams micros in it. So this is meal one. And then just to wash it down because it gets to like, I kind of try and time my caffeine hits. So I had a coffee this morning to give me some energy and then um, it is going on one o'clock. So I'll usually have another hit of caffeine so we're going for the best the goated the goated kind of monster the ultra rosa the ultra rosa so mate i am officially obviously my full-time gig 
how I make my income, how I support my life, how I buy shit, how I make my living is online coaching. Um, so I don't really ever have days off, but um, as of tomorrow, Friday the 22nd, I'm taking a week and a half, two weeks off. So there won't be any client check-ins or like training footage analysis, but there will be like a bit of contact. If anyone needs me, if they're unsure about something, if they need, if, they, if man is needed, then they can give me a message. But for right now, man, I'm gonna eat this food and I'm gonna enjoy it. See just the taste of the egg yolk. See if you're a grown adult and you don't like the, the yolk and eggs. You, you, you're a weird one. You are one of those people who, you know, you probably, like, when you're outside, you know, need a poo, and you don't, you know, you don't actually go to the toilet yet, you just hold it in, but then when you go to the toilet, you get skin marks. You're one of those people. You're one of those people. I'm hungry. I am assuming, I'm assuming. I'm waiting on meal number two, probably have that in about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour, but man has been getting some fucking, uh, uh, some comments on his YouTube. Couple of hateful comments. Luckily I've got thick skin. Luckily I'm not upset about these things, but you need to laugh sometimes, don't you? <laughs> Every comment that comes in, it's like, faceless account, two subscribers, and you look at the videos that they've watched and they've uploaded these like car racing videos and like Minecraft. And then they're talking about you, you shouldn't be taking anabolic steroids because you're ruining your health and you're, you know, you're never going to be a top body. Mate, shut it. Shut up. Shut it. Or I'll fucking jab you. Yeah, wee dick. People are mad. People are fucking mad. Free speech, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I would never take that away from any individual. Comment on my shit again and I'll fucking headbutt you, mate. With the big forehead that I've got. But, um, <laughs> listen to these two comments, right? So, I've been playing with YouTube a bit. I've been trying to see what's been boosting engagement a little bit. Funnily enough, talking about drugs and boosting engagement. But, as soon as you talk about drugs, oh, oh, that is when people come out. That is when, you know, 37 year old Kevin from fuck knows where, who has never touched a steroid in his life, who has never even been to the gym. Sits in the, the he sits on the cross trainer five days a week for fifty minutes. Goes back up the road, has a fish supper. Mm. He has some. What does he have? He has a. I don't even know. A shit scran, and he's telling you you shouldn't be taking steroids. You're going to ruin your health. Shut up. Shut up. Let people do what they want to do. Okay. You've all got opinions. Have your own opinions. But mate, nobody just because you're not a top bodybuilder doesn't mean you need to not be taking anabolics, okay? I know fucking hundreds of people, okay, that take anabolic steroids look very fucking good, okay? I know some people that look very fucking shit and take them. Just the world we're in, we're in. We can't all be sebum, we can't all be army, we can't all be the top guys, we ain't all get the best genetics, but hey, you need to remember, just because somebody takes anabolics doesn't mean they're gonna blow up. Doesn't mean, you know, people respond to drugs different, okay? I like to think I've responded pretty damn well, okay? But you, know, you need to look at somebody, if somebody says to me I've been taking anabolics for three years, you think three years of fucking smashing drugs? You must be massive. But what if for the first two years they were on TRT? You're not gonna blow up from that. You're gonna look a bit better than the last year they've, they've went ham on it. Do you know what I mean? It's all relative, so if you're somebody that's watching this, and you have always got the perception of as soon as somebody takes any form of steroid, they get massive, you are mistaken, okay? I am all for, listen, if somebody wants to take shit and they've done their research, they know the risks it's gonna come with, they do it in a safer manner, not safe, because it's not safe at all, but in a safer manner, get blood work done, make the most amount of progress on the least amount of drugs, you do you, mate. I think that's a good, a good approach if you ever were to consider the drug. Anyway, have a good one, keep the comments coming, keep on boosting my engagement, and yeah, I'll see you for the next meal. That was just a wee rant about hate comments, but they're funny, they're funny, they're needed. No ring light on for this clip, but mate, ho oh, ho, meal numero two, I'm roasting mate, see, having the fucking pan on, the air fryer, getting everything sorted, it's very taxing. This is a legit meal, we're gonna turn the camera around. We have got, We've got 100 grams of broccoli, we have got 250 grams of chicken, we have got a pitta, 
but mate, we have put the chicken and we've put potato in the pitta with some lighter than light cream cheese and a little bit of lighter than light mayo. So Cajun, not Cajun, we've got chicken seasoning, garlic, salt, pepper on the chicken. We get paprika, garlic, salt on the broccoli. So from like a meal point of view, this is pretty voluminous. So this meal is going to give me quite a lot of... I need to put my fingerprint in the laptop. This meal is going to give me quite a lot of volume for not too many calories, I don't think. So I'll pop the calories in that on the screen. But, mate, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Put the potatoes in the wrap, in the pitter. Um, I think that works out to like 90 carb, 80 carb. I've only had one meal, so I've got another meal to have after this and then one more. I don't know why I didn't just say two. We've got two meals left and then we're good. So, gonna eat this meal, gonna watch some YouTube and then I'll see you guys for the next one. Probably be in different clothes, probably shorts and an oversized t-shirt because man is warm. Man is very warm, sweating my fucking panning. Oh, absolutely fucked, mate. Absolutely fucked, mate. Very hard session this morning. So I did. See that? All sorts of hairs, mate. Dust gathers so fucking quick, don't it? It's mad. Literally just dusted this bitch a while ago. Three, four, nah. <laughs> yeah, it was probably two weeks ago. I don't think I'm getting the aftershave on right now. Bosh, bosh, bosh. We've got a good few. This is the Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. I like to do aftershaves in a few different ways. Let me move the ring light. I've got like a gym one, slash one where I'm out like just either go to the gym or like I just need to quickly leave the house. We've got a Zara, a Zara Men one. Zara's pretty good. I've got a Valentino one that the missus got me. Pretty nice. And I've got one that's actually unopened, and that's an Invictus. I like to use that one, or this one, for like, you know, weekend, weekend things. Anyway, full day of eating wrapped up. Uh, you're probably wondering what I had for the last meal. I did go to my girlfriend's house, um, and I just didn't record. I didn't vlog it, mate. I didn't vlog it. But the meal four was, as you've seen, I would have put the macros on the screen, it was two brioche buns, a little bit higher in fat. So obviously I'm in a position whereby, obviously like I'm in, I know I'm in a contest prep, but because I'm I'm still 14 weeks out, okay, the deeper into like a contest prep or like a photo shoot prep, so that the severity of the diet will dictate, you know, the, the, the food choices you make. So, you know, is it a smart idea four weeks out from a competition to be having like brioche buns with cheese in it? Probably not. Not even probably, nah, because you'd rather put those calories to other use. You wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to waste seven grams of fat on two rolls when I could use that with like dark chocolate and my oats or something like that, do you know what I mean? So I had the two brioche buns, 225 grams of chicken, or just uh, chicken in general, bit of olive oil, those lighter than light cheese slices, and they were very good. And then we finished off with some rice cakes, just some caramel rice cakes and a protein shake. That was what I had. That last meal would sometimes be yogurt again, like Greek yogurt with some protein in it and with some fruit. Um, but I just had some rice cakes and a protein shake. And that took the calories to, what did it take us to mate? Let's go back yesterday. That took us to, uh, 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 my fitness pal was fucked, huh? nutrients, 247 grams of protein, the goal was 250. It took me to 290 gram of carb, the goal was 300. And then we also just hit 48 grams of fat, so two grams of fat under. Was everything tracked? Rice cakes. Oh, that's why the fats are under, I didn't try the oil. Let's put the oil in, five mil. Boom, boom. Sneaky there, sneaky. Yeah, now nah, that takes the fat, the fat's bang on. Cool, sweet, so that was a full day of eating done. And that is the calories and macros on the damn screen. So yeah, that was a full day of eating on the 2000, 600 calories. And mate, still not really feeling, uh, that's a lie. Hunger start to kick in, man. Like not even so much like I'm sitting throughout the day and I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. Like I don't feel like big bouts of actual proper hunger, but like I'm, a, no, I'm not a snacker. I, I like eating. Like, I love eating stuff. Like, see, now, I'm sat down here with a coffee. 
there's nothing I would love more than to have like fucking five chocolate digestives or oh, see the caramel oh, have you ever had if you've had it please comment see the caramel obviously you hopefully have the caramel digestives they're so hard to get these days I can't tell you the last time I've seen that's what I'm going to do see the end of this diet mate I'm going to eat a full pack of caramel digestives the caramel ones I'm sure you can get the white chocolate caramel one. bro that would be mad white chocolate and caramel digestives that's fucking oh oh my god and then imagine you put Nutella on in the middle and then like a melted marshmallow oh. or Biscoff on that as well oh fuck me anyway anyway good session today as I said with an upper body we were in getting some stuff filmed with a videographer he just does like some of my Instagram reels and, and stuff as well but happy with condition if you've seen the clip earlier on in the video that's how we were looking uh, the other day and happy with how things are coming in man um, shit's taking shape like uh, you can really start to see somebody's physique come to play like somebody can look like they've got shit genetics somebody can look really or just really not muscular at all and then you prep them or you put them through a 15 week diet get them shredded and you're like whoa they they had that shape was there the whole time do you know what I mean it's mad like I remember when I done my photo shoot prep last year like my starting like I put a photo in fact this was my starting position this is how I started uh, the photo shoot prep last year okay I think I got up to like 106 kilo 105 106 and I was fat mate like I was fat there's no there's no uh, if buts maybes I was fat as fuck and then I dieted down and this is how I looked at the end of the diet of the photo shoot it's like you would not think you would get to that shape like, I thought I had really shit delts dieted down and I'm like well I've actually got really lean fucking delts what the hell um, so I, I know this will be the same again uh, as I said I've still got 14 weeks to go um, drugs are obviously kind of hitting the now we've still got some things to play around with we've still got a lot of body fat to pull off and we've still got lots of time so I'm pretty damn excited plan of action this Friday today is obviously the 22nd if you didn't know it was the next day hence the, the new clip but um, I didn't put sweeteners in it fuck's sake uh, but plan of action is kind of chill man I've got a client set up to do um, I am taking on clients for New Year. Um, if you want to have a look, quick look through my Instagram, I am launching. I have launched the twelve week revamp, so it's twelve weeks of one to one online coaching with myself for a reduced uh, payment. Okay, which I don't do often. Um, so you can pay up that block, and then you get online coaching with me for three months. Or if you want to find out more information just about my regular one to one coaching online, then fire me a message on Instagram or fill out the link in the damn bio and we'll get your physique turned into whatever the fuck you want it if you don't believe me if you don't believe I'm good at my job jump on the Instagram follow the Instagram and have a look at all the transformations we've got of plenty of people on the damn team male female young older middle aged no kids no kids yet of course we don't we don't do that we don't can you imagine a fucking jacked 8 year old just fucking heavy j jacked <laughs> do you know what I mean Oh, enough chat, Liz. Enough chat. I'm gonna go see my pal later on. My mum's got some people over, so I'm gonna get out of the house so I don't need to socialise. Do you know what I mean? On that note, if you've not liked the video, please like the video. If you've not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the damn channel. Whenever you're watching this, day, morning, or night, have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great week and great month. Merry fucking Christmas. I don't think there'll be another video before Christmas, will there? I don't know. Maybe there will. Maybe there won't. You'll need to wait and find out. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Have a good new year. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.